Okay. All right, left with the knees. Hey guys, your timing's actually great. We've been working on something for the past eight years, our house, and this might be the very last time we'll get to show it off to you guys. So come on inside, let's start for the house tour. Don't need that anymore. Oh my. It's recording. <laughs> Anti climax. <laughs> this video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all in one platform for all your website needs. <laughs> My heart. Okay, guys, well. Welcome to our house tour. This is something that y'all have been asking for for a really long time. And to be honest, we've been a little hesitant because it's often in some percent of chaos. Yeah, I mean, to, to get, cut us a little bit of slack, our job is making stuff. And we have done our job very well. Every single room in this home has something that we've made in it. Or things that we've done to the house itself. And that's a big reason we wanna share this. There's so much work we've put into this house and we have so many before and afters to share with you guys mm -hmm. of projects we did long before we even started the channel. And we also wanna share the status of lots of the DIY projects you've seen from the channel. And this is our very first home. Looking back at when we first bought this house, looking at those befores, I honestly was like shocked. It's crazy. At, 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 at how far we've come. Like I was literally shocked. And I just like had to give Caitlin some, some praise because she saw the vision of this house. It, th there were some rough spots. And a lot of you guys <laughs> probably haven't seen all of it yet. So I'm excited to like take you guys along this journey with us. So we can start with the room we are in right now, which is the entryway. And uh, th there's not much. Like you walk in and are greeted by a brick wall. Yeah. I mean, we did the best we can. We made this wonderful entry table. We replaced the blinds. Yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, and this is throughout the whole house, is the floors. This yeah. used to be like an old cracked white tile. And then right past this brick, it was a beige carpet. <laughs> beige carpet. <laughs> So guys, come on over here towards the main living room and we'll show you the main space which, which sold us on this house. Oh, I'm sorry, are we disturbing you? Yes. <laughs> so this is our living room. Um, this is probably the room that kind of made us buy the house because yeah. look how tall the ceilings are. This is harder to find in the age of house we were looking at, and this is an older house. It's also open to the dining room and kitchen, which we'll go into in a little bit. The, the, the kitchen is still very yellow. We'll get to that later, but oh, like... yeah. <laughs> This room, focus on the nice room. Yeah, look at this room. Wow, wow. wow. I, I can't believe when we first moved in, we moved all of our apartment furniture in here. <laughs> and we just put up this like media center Ikea thing that was a few units across and two tall units. And it looks so awkward in this against this really long wall. Yeah. And so we ended up getting new IKEA <laughs> media centers that span the whole length, but 10 out of 10 decision. Great. Um, also, made, I just remember like moving in and we like set up our two chairs right there and we were trying to choose the right new hardwood floors to, to choose for our house. Laminate wood floors. <clears throat> oh. Oh, it's not hardwood. <laughs> hardwood looking <laughs> laminate floors. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, so like we said, the beige carpet expanded all in here mm -hmm. and the floors was one of the few things that we did hire out because it was just so beyond our experience at the time. And when they pulled up the carpet, there was a pitcher's mound of concrete built up under the carpet that they had to grind down and pour more subfloor and grind it down again and pour more subfloor. Well, it's because we live in Houston and you know- Older houses, houses have found issues. Yeah, so uh, it makes sense. You might see some cracks in the background of this video along the, no, no, don't show them the, just leave them in the background. Leave them in the <laughs> yeah. background. Yeah. Also, when we first moved in, it was, it was also not benefiting from Caitlin's wonderful tastes. 
of like furniture and decor. Like we had my old like man couches, yeah. like no decor up anywhere. Speaking of decor, a lot of this is ours. I feel like there should be like a um, take a drink every time you see a project in the background. Again. Oh no, that's dangerous. Of water. Of water. Responsibility. Hydration is very important. So we have our love letters, pendulum paintings. And the lamp. The, the cat, cat kiss. Catio. Yeah. Geode table, which is now the stand for our equipment for Juby's streams. Cause yeah. Jube streams now. Yeah, she's a great streamer. Evan and Caitlin Alt. Yeah. <laughs> the side table. The two by four side table. The coffee table. Juby's scratching post. Juby's other scratching Juby's post. Others. The 10 second table. I mean, this, this has held up very nicely. You know one thing that hasn't held up though is uh, we didn't think about how much Jube corner scratches. She'll put one paw here and one paw here and go to town, so. I destroy. Yeah, I wish that we had of wrap that around the corner. Um, oh, and um, behind the camera. Behind you guys, if you would just get out of the way. The art ledge and the cat wheel kind of off to yeah. the side. Okay, I'll, I'll give an update on the cat wheel. So the cat wheel. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great idea. And honestly, she did use it for a bit. We'd be in the office down the hall and we'd hear her run on it and we'd have to come bring her ham as was right and proper. And then thoughtless me. I didn't put anti-slip pads on the bottom. And Juby was getting more and more enthusiastic about the cat wheel. She scrambled and jumped on it. And since there is no, uh, it was just wood against wood, the whole thing moved and it spooked her. And ever since then, she hasn't used she it. She hasn't used it. When we have non existing guests over, we want the first thing they see <laughs> past the brick wall to be a giant cat hamster wheel. Cats are welcome. Bring Actually, your cat. Probably not. Juby doesn't like guests. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Juby, should we show off the dining room next? So here is our dining room. Honestly, this is this my is, other favorite room of the house. <laughs> this is the table room. The entire <laughs> thing is taken up <laughs> by the biggest table ever. I know, it's so big. <laughs> well, we had this table, which was like a Craigslist find. And then Ikea had, this is not an ad for Ikea. They had these butcher blocks on sale. We used two here and we didn't want to cut them down. Cause why? have a smaller table when big table good. <laughs> yeah. But I do love this room. One of my favorite things is we swapped out the off-center boob light for the chandelier. You can yeah. still kind of see the hole where we patched the uh, original oh, light. Oh, that? Like, oh no, you can barely see that at all. <laughs> so we replaced that. Um, these built-ins did exist. They used to have about twice as many shelves and we just took some of those out. But this is where we get to display more of the things we've made and our plushies. <laughs> I think that this room really demonstrates how much having things that you love displayed can make a difference. Again, we made a lot of these, the spin art, the candle. We have been awarded some of the things here, thanks to you guys. Thank you again. And they also store a whole bunch of things that we don't love. Should I show off all <laughs> no, of your decor no, no. that you've been hiding in here? No, no, no. No, no, no? Okay, is no, it time no, to no. move on to the kitchen? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, come on in. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen. Orange are glad that we are spending some time in here. <laughs> uh, anyways, this the kitchen had already been updated by the previous owner. We had been thinking in our heads multiple times we were tempted to repaint oh. all the cabinets. Caitlin like said that from when we first moved in. She's like, I'd like to paint these. We should have done it eight years ago. Yep, but we didn't, and the more we waited, the more it didn't make sense to, because they're in fine shape. They're, they're just they're orange. Great. They're fine, but they're just, we just don't like them. <laughs> we did do some things though. We added this pendant light here. Yeah. We did our pantry door. Yeah, it looks wonderful. And even before the channel, we upgraded these shelves. Those actually did make a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We made like some nice wood shelves. And honestly, there's still a few projects that we'll need to get to before we sell the house. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> we have cooked some amazing meals in here. This kitchen has done right by us. I was gonna talk about the floors making a really big difference yeah, in here. Go for but it. also being a challenge because like trying to find floors that clashed the least with the orange, that was tricky. I don't know if we succeeded, but 
you know. <laughs> we committed and it's better than it was. It's a lot better than it was. But it really opens things up having mm -hmm. it flow from one room to another. So this is the breakfast nook. This is <laughs> standard everyday family's breakfast nook. AKA the treadmill room, AKA the place where we keep our extra hot Cheetos. Thank you <laughs> to everyone who sent us hot Cheetos. <laughs> We're kind of like fundamentally against the idea of having two different eating spaces just for us. We just didn't need two. So it seemed like a waste to have a table in here. So we've constantly been trying to figure out how we want to use this room. Yeah, there have been desks here. There's there's been storage here, like, I, I, I can't keep track of it all anymore. We use this to put all the stuff in our garage <laughs> in here when we cleaned it out. But this we'll used to, to be the junk later. room. This was a junk room for a bit. We'll show the current junk room later. <laughs> <laughs> but this is currently where we keep our benches. Rainbow the bench, bench. <laughs> ripple, ripple bench. bench. Hey, there's some projects. There's another project. This isn't the best place for it, for the, uh, the black hole table. But like, yeah. you know, at a certain point, you don't need more side tables. So you just put it somewhere. But yeah, again, this room. Oh, this used to have a fan right here. Oh yeah, it's so much better with just Which, light. Which like Evan used to always hit his head on. So yeah. we did a flush mount light. But I mean like, when you know, I think this is a pretty good use of the room because we do like using the treadmills and, and yeah. using the monitors. And honestly, we don't play games on them much. We basically just watch TV. Yeah, well, oh, YouTube. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's a little bit of a weird choice, but you know. That's one of the perks of having a home. You can customize it just for you. Yeah. And um, I hear a juby munching over here. Shall we go disturb her in yeah. the laundry room? This is the room where we probably have done the most extreme renovation. Our laundry room. I know, it actually kind of looks like it did when we finished it. Yeah. It is um, missing the mobile streaming setup because we just did a stream and so that's in the garage. Normally there's um, a big platform here with a bunch of technology and monitors, so it yeah. doesn't look quite <laughs> as cute. But I mean, we're still really happy with how this room turned out. The counter has been great and the cubbies, although Juby didn't really like her litter box in here, so it's in a different spot. Yeah, but also, I mean, this the, our history with this room goes back a lot farther than the video that you saw. When we first moved in, there were some really nasty tiles in here that we tried to do ourselves and it did not turn out well. When we had the flooring redone, we thought we'll just have them demo the old ones and we'll do the new ones. It'll be great to like get our DIY chops. So we tried to do our own floor leveling in here and it did not go well no. at all. We were just mixing up this self-leveling concrete and pouring it in this room and trying to scrape it smooth. And it just kept getting worse and worse and thicker and thicker and thicker. And then we would sand it down and we were like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe we're not DIY. <laughs> it was a bumpy start to our DIY journey. Yeah. Hey, but we painted the walls. This is the one room we painted. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the smallest rooms. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I like how this room turned out. Yeah. One of my favorite things was from our project. This we still heckin' love, the custom yeah. freezer top. But yeah, you know, I think we kind of use this room as one of our like DIY experimentation rooms. Yeah, figure out what we like doing and what we don't like doing. Yeah. <laughs> so to the door on my right is the workshop which you guys have seen, you know, in the camera view, but we thought it'd be nice to share uh, some of the parts of it you haven't seen too. Yeah. Welcome back to our garage. If you've been <laughs> watching our channel for a while, you've probably spent more time with us in this room than any other place, but you are probably used to just seeing this little rectangle right here. We're gonna show you the whole thing, the good and the bad, <laughs> take you along with the journey and show you what's worked and what hasn't worked in here. First off, oh my gosh, guys, can I just give our AC a hug? Without this? <laughs> Would I'm the not... channel be possible? <laughs> I don't think so, I don't think so. I just remember when we'd film our old videos, we'd get so sweaty and we'd have to take AC breaks. We would come out here, film, keep our energy up for a little bit, but the, the Houston, Texas heat would just like drain us, would go lie down on the floor. Yeah. And then come back out here. Should we take it back a little bit? Talk about some of the stuff we did in here early on? Yeah, I mean, when we first started in here, 
The only lights that we had in the entire garage were these two. Let me turn them on. <laughs> Wait, turn off the like, other lights? Let's bring it back old school. Literally. Old school Evan and Caitlin. <laughs> this was our lighting. And you, so we had to film during daylight or just be okay with this. <laughs> we we're constantly battling the sun and the weather. Things are fine. Yeah, so early on we fixed the walls, we added oh. storage everywhere. The walls um, were in such rough shape, there actually used to be a huge hole hiding back here. The previous owner had stacked like some bricks in front of it, I guess, <laughs> to hide it. I don't know, but it was yeah. massive. <clears throat> This isn't how the garage always was. When we first moved in here, the garage door was kind of falling apart. <laughs> you literally paint would peel off in chunks. <laughs> yeah, but honestly also like painting the walls makes, you know, everything look a little bit prettier, even though we never show this side for, for reasons. For obvious reasons. And reasons and reasons and reasons. One area that we don't talk about too much is our cold storage area. <laughs> this is where we just store things that we don't use that much. Then there's all of the scraps that we have from all of our projects. Like they just layer deeper and deeper. And then you don't even know what's back there. We definitely need to rethink this in our future place when we figure that out. And then oh, I'm so glad that we added all of these cabinets. Each one of these are filled with supplies, additional tools, all of our tape, all of Juby's tape. <laughs> Is my tape. Oh, you know what? We haven't really ever talked about because we did it before we started the channel. Huh. Something that's worked amazingly well. <gasps> the workbench! The workbench! Yes! Honestly, there's so many videos of people building workbenches, and guess how many I watched before I made this? <laughs> We actually designed it with products in mind. These floating shelves here were supposed to be drying racks for concrete coasters because we were selling them at the time. And now it's just used for like gloves and crap. <laughs> but like this thing has been so sturdy. I built it in a single day. By yourself. I by built... myself. And I don't know how, because those are big slabs. <clears throat> yeah, I don't really know how you did this by yourself either, but it's worked great. I was younger back in my prime. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when we tried to add sound foam to make our audio better? Yeah, one just fell down and ripped the ceiling and we were like, you know, maybe we don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> now, one thing I would have wished that we had done yeah. is uh, epoxied the floors. You but know, we, we've slowly been epoxying them. <laughs> tiny bit tiny by tiny bit. 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 Yeah. yeah, not the most efficient. There, there's so many things that we've learned from this place. A big thing is just consolidating things also. I mean, we have wood here, over there, up here, and then we have a decent amount of wood down there too. And I think it's because, you know, our storage and this workshop in general has grown very organically. Yeah. And we've added things to it as we needed them. And hopefully going into whatever our future shop ends up being, we can plan it out a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Like the, 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 the garage and what this space means to us, it's so special to us because honestly, this was where we launched our channel mm -hmm. more than anything. I mean, fixing the drywall, putting up the garage storage, those were some of the first videos we ever filmed. This is where it all began. And it's, it's very nostalgic being in here and thinking about potentially moving out in the future. You know. It's just weird. Yeah. <clears throat> Looking around this garage, you know, I, like you said, there are so many memories and specifically one of these tools brings back some memories of our oh, yeah. patio. Oh yeah. When I, when I, when I started. Well, let's, let's, let's go out there and, uh, and we'll tell the story. A cool hammer. What are you going to say? I guess I'll just have to wait and see. The Pateo. <laughs> the, the Pateo. Remember when we thought we were gonna demo this? Oh yes. That was one of the very first projects we thought we would do when we bought that sledgehammer. I just remember he being here with your mom for some reason. Oh my gosh, are you sure you guys wanna 
flip-flops? Yeah. You were in flip-flops, marching back with the sledgehammer over your shoulder. With no safety glasses on. And, and we were like, let's just see how hard it would be to demo the patio. It's so damaged and it's sagging in the middle. You really want to start cracking it now. Why don't you do it when you're ready to do it? I just want to crack one, one little piece, the corner. I, I, I had been watching a lot of Fixer Upper. Yeah. I was like very you ready for demo, demo day. Demo day. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I took a swing and I got the process started. Is it recording? Yeah. Because it's hammer time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Did it do anything? Yeah. Yeah, look. Did you see that crack? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Woo! And it only took us three years to pay a professional. Pay a professional to do it, actually. <laughs> well, I'm so glad that we did though. This, the, the old patio slab was like- Fully sunk into the ground. Thick too, wasn't it like a foot thick? I, I don't, yeah. Three feet thick, it was three feet of solid concrete. But upgrading the patio actually inspired us to put some time into our backyard. One of my favorite upgrades was adding the matching fence panels to the back of our patio. Yeah. Remember how bad was, that looked? Yeah, and adding the string lights, and I really like our grass wall art still, which has held up. Yeah. It has held up. But you know, another thing that, that we haven't talked about is the paint. I mean, I think it's held up. It's dirty right now because of all the pollen and it just rained. It hasn't like chipped off anywhere though, yeah. which is good. And last but certainly not least, the catio. It's used almost every single day. She just heckin' loves it. She, she definitely uses her catio more than we use our human patio. And that wraps up the patio. Humans were bad at blogging. I blog now. Maybe seeing our house tour makes you want to start your own home DIY blog too. That's how the supervisor felt. So she set up a blog on supervisor.com, a website she made using today's sponsor, Squarespace. It was so simple to set up a new blog with Squarespace, even for a cat. How rude. She could even do member gated content because that's built into Squarespace. Sign up for my only hams or sell an unlimited amount of her own products with Squarespace's suite of e-commerce tools. It's not just website building, she can buy domains too. Even with all those features and so many more, Squarespace websites work flawlessly on mobile and you never have to worry about maintaining plugins. So go to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Evan and Caitlin for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Boop. Okay back inside and now it's finally time to show you our shame room. <laughs> shame. 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 <laughs> it's, this room has really just been a constant battle of us trying to make it look nice and then it eventually fills up with stuff and then we try to make it look nice again and then it fills up with stuff. Well, okay, you know what's natural, a natural thing in the universe? Entropy. And that's, that's what we've been fighting against. I mean, when we first moved in, this was a cute little guest bedroom that mm -hmm. we never used. Yeah, exactly. And we thought, hey, you know, this would be a great place to put our 3D printer carts. Mm -hmm. Let's build this nice 3D printer <laughs> cart, which you can barely see right now. And then we decided, you know, we barely have guests here. Let's maximize space and build a Murphy bed. And honestly, great choice. Yeah. I still stand by this Murphy bed and the built-ins. We've had someone actually sleep here like twice, and I'd much rather prefer our junk sitting here, because if it wasn't sitting here, it would be everywhere across the house. I guess you could look at it it's that way. It's preferable than the alternative. <laughs> yeah, mm, depends on what alternatives you're thinking of. <laughs> I might have some other alternatives in mind. So we added the Murphy bed, stand by that decision. And mm -hmm. then we did a guest room revamp makeover where we updated the light to this nicer light. We updated the curtains to something a little bit lighter and breezier. Mm -hmm. And we built this desk, and added the desk, the mirror, the chair. Yeah, and at, during the outro of that video, this room looked the best it's ever the looked. The best it's ever looked. So can we Even just like- Even with the 3D printer cart. Can we just call that the after and then forget about all of this? Because underneath this all- Is, is that a room? cute little room buried under this. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we bought this house for the two of us. This was a reasonable size house for that. But we're yeah. also now running a full time business and that involves a lot of stuff. You know, at a certain point, 
as this room was getting more and more filled up, we were like, you know, let's just start filling it with storage units because then at least we can go vertical. And this is where we keep a lot of camera equipment. Yeah, I don't equipment. think that we've ever shared that we, we added this. No, because it doesn't really look that, that great. And it's just like in front of the windows, like it's not a great placement. <laughs> <laughs> I think if we were staying in this house, reconfiguring the 3D yeah. printer cart, because mm -hmm. we've gotten rid of some 3D printers, we've gotten some new smaller 3D printers and yeah. it is no longer optimized. I think getting rid of that and doing some of these units here going all the way up to the ceiling and just getting rid of some of this stuff. But who can get rid of things when you can't even reach them? <laughs> now I will say to give this room some credit, there is one person that loves it and spends a lot of time here and that is Jube. I'm exposed. This is her chair under the desk. She really likes this little hideaway and she likes to peek out and spy on us as we're doing stuff. We're it's been a journey? It's been a downhill struggle. <laughs> <laughs> Not fully downhill, it's been uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill, and we're at the down. Yeah. You ready to go to the other rooms? I think next we should go to our office, which is the place we spend more time than any other place in the home. Yes. All right. With this room, I've gone back and forth where to start because we do so much in this room. We yeah. basically live in here. The majority of all of our days are spent in here. But before we talk about how it is now, let's go back in time because when we first moved in here, this was actually our wedding planning area. I basically lined the room with boxes labeled very meticulously with the vendor that was responsible for the contents of that box, what was in the contents of that box, when those boxes need to be distributed, and it got very intense in here. <laughs> um, but then this room kind of became our junk room slash Evan's office for yeah. a little bit. And I set up my very first 3D print, our very first 3D printer in here <laughs> that I convinced Caitlin would definitely lead to something great. But I remember this wall had the pegboard, some floating shelves, some of which eventually made it into the garage. Yeah. And then over here, this as a standing desk. Desk version one. We can't forget about the whole saga of our podcast streaming desk. When we first started the podcast. I'm was... just looking, everyone here is getting the view of the wires in the back. <laughs> so when we first started, we only had a few electrical devices on this desk and it was a lot smaller. We built this wonderful LED resin rainbow desk. And I um, think this is still our most viewed video, this desk that you can barely see under here. We've added to it and added to it. And it's great because it is built with these aluminum frames and you can add a lot of weight to it. We have three laptops, a computer down here. These two monitors are our two streaming computers. These three monitors right here are a streaming computer. I mean, there's a lot that goes on here. I feel like I could do a whole video just on this current setup. One thing that we never talked about in any videos because it didn't make it into a the video. The green I just, screen frame. I just did this like an evening one day when I was like, we just got to do it real quick. I bought these white boards, lights around the edges, and I was like, that's yeah. that's good enough. Plus, it makes for great prop storage for when we're doing thumbnails for the gaming videos. Yes, Evan and Caitlin gaming. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the arrow, I thought, I thought the arrow was in it. No, no, no. I think one thing, oh sorry, I got, so I got sorry. sweaty. One thing that we haven't talked about yet is our closet. That was a whole project. Oh video. yeah, this closet is amazing. Here, I'll just sit. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so you can see it. Okay. Um, it's gotten a lot more full from the last time you guys saw it on the channel. But honestly, like the shelves are beefy. They've held up. We got tons of labels. It's actually pretty organized in here, even though it's a little chaotic. Art supplies and electronics, video cables and USB cables, projects that we never really got to. But I think ultimately one thing that we've realized over the past several years, we spend so much time in here and we really want to prioritize the office in wherever we end up next as like a really nice space to hang out in because this is technically functional, but it's very crowded. I can barely back up my chair sometimes. When we're streaming, when Evan tries to squeeze past me, it's almost impossible. Yeah, we, we need to prioritize this room in the new place a lot more. And that's where you fell through the ceiling. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lots of great fond memories here. Most two by fours are a space 24 inches apart. <laughs> You know, but you barely even notice the place where I fell through the ceiling because we covered it with these sound... <laughs> <laughs> these sound uh, dampening panels. And you actually built little custom hanging hardware for it. Yeah. Like, there is a lot of stuff that we have to build for our job that doesn't make it into videos just because like we need it fast or it's not really that interesting, but it all adds up to everything we've put into in this house. This is a very customized house. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so let's go to the next room. Yeah. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our small guest bathroom. Uh oh, <laughs> you activated it. Ah, um, perfect. <laughs> Just wanted to show it off. <laughs> so you mostly should recognize this room from our moodering toilet seat. It's really the only thing we've done in here. It's the fold. <laughs> it's, it's the fold. What? It's the fold. <laughs> it's very evidently my, my butt. <laughs> I didn't think it'd be so high tech. And it's an amazing piece of technology. Wow. I mean, it's held up super well. Okay, you know what's funny though? We thought by putting this in our guest bathroom, at some point, someone else besides the two of us would use it. Then the pandemic hit and no one was coming over. We, like a couple days ago, had someone doing some work on the house to help prep it for moving. And they wanted to use our restroom. We said, <laughs> oh yeah, around the corner. And then we realized, <gasps> It's the, it's the, it's the mood ring, it's the mood ring. If we didn't warn them, they don't, they're not like friends or family of ours. Like they don't know that we make weird things on YouTube. And we're just sitting in there like, oh, is this, this is weird, is this like awkward? And then we're just like thinking about this person. You think that? <laughs> in, our, in our bathroom on the mood ring toilet seat. We're like, how weird would that be if you just went to someone's house to do your job? And you were like, what is this? <laughs> that will come with us to the new place. Oh yeah, this is ours. Any, anything else in here that we want to show off? We have our alcohol ink, Ikea hack light, some candles and soaps that you guys have sent to us. Thank yep. you very much. And that's kind of it. You know, it's a tiny room. Yeah. I'm kind of getting sleepy. Want to move on to... Onto the bedroom. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Remember when we came in and it had the brown floors and the brown curtains? curtains? <laughs> it was looking a little rough. Old fan. Oh my gosh. Guys, the hardest part of this, this room renovation was probably the fan because it was held in with nails. They were thick and like bent, shoved into the wood. Like it was so impossible to get the old fan down so that we could put up the new fan. Why wouldn't you use screws? I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. Oh man, but also this was the very first project we ever did for- Our channel. The, our dresser. Our dresser. I remember when a whole project was just replacing knobs on a dresser? Hey, we were learning a lot about filming and how to talk. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Distance between holes. <laughs> <laughs> We've actually since added a third because we needed more storage space, so it used to be two. You'll also notice that this is where Flutal lives, yes. looking magical 
as ever. <laughs> she still looks great. And also like, wow, I was really worried about it collecting dust, but it, it looks just as fine and floofy as the day we made it. You know, I think if there is dust, you just can't see it. If I get close enough, there's maybe a little cat hair because someone else mm -hmm. really likes to hang out in this room. Yeah. This is also her room. Yes. I think another big thing we did in here was the doors. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah. They were great. Yeah, and that made a really big difference. And of course, I mean, we, we refer to it in every single video, but the floor. Having a unified floor really ties everything together. Yeah. Other than that, not too much had to be done to this room. We just kind of upgraded furniture and hung some art and... Made it our own. Yeah, made yeah. it our own. In the bathroom, we did do a little bit of work. So. Yeah. Oh man, remember all of the grout scraping you did? Yep. Okie dokie. Now we are in our bathroom. Welcome. Welcome. So this space <laughs> had actually been redone by the previous owner, which was nice. It wasn't the original bathroom to the house. It wasn't necessarily exactly the layout and finishes we wanted. For example, there's no door. <laughs> there's, there's no door. <laughs> <laughs> it's something we didn't even notice when we bought the house. We just were so excited about the general layout and everything. We just didn't even notice there was no door between the bedroom and in the there's bathroom. There's no door here to like the toilet area. No, there's no pooping privacy. <laughs> No, there's not. So if you want to use this bathroom, you actually have to close the bedroom door. But the problem is, Juby can open the bedroom door, so mm -hmm. she'll just come in <laughs> and then leave. Yeah. And then just leave you stranded. <laughs> you know, this, this bathroom is nice. It's nice enough that we've never like mustered up the gumption to tear it out and redo it. But we did fix it up a little bit. Like yeah. I put like an oddly long amount of time cleaning up the caulk in the shower and like scraping out all the old caulk and redoing new caulk hours. Just scraping away and watching YouTube videos like why isn't this working like it does in the videos? <laughs> Guys, she started with a normal screwdriver. You just kind of scrape off as much as you can and you get to pull off itty bitty little bits. That was actually a pretty big one. And by the end of the scraping, it was... <laughs> it's rounded! <laughs> Flathead screwdriver, which is no longer really a flathead. <laughs> we still have it. <laughs> Another thing that took a long time, but I actually think this made a huge difference was mm -hmm. I painted the grout lines because they used to be light colored and you could see all of the like size difference and gap variation. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was worth it. Yeah. We have one of my favorite things, the bath caddy. There's memories here. This is where I took my first on camera. <laughs> Sounds weird. It's not the only one. <laughs> that There's was multiple. <laughs> multiple. Yeah. <laughs> But you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's crazy thinking back on the journey of this house. I mean, we bought it before we were married. I mean, we were, we were very sure. <laughs> yeah. You know, an interesting thing about ending in the bathroom specifically is I remember when we bought it, it didn't feel like our house for a while. We still had the apartment for a month or so mm -hmm. overlap. The thing that made this feel like our place was showering in that shower. Overlay B-roll here. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very sentimental 
and will always be a very special house to us. Who knows if we would have thought to start a DIY channel if we hadn't already started documenting all of the DIY things we were doing in this house. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. I mean, it's been so much fun taking this trip down memory lane and I'm glad that you guys were able to join us. I'm also really, really excited to start the next chapter. I mean, we've been looking at houses and, and we've- Imagining ourselves in all these new spaces and it's overwhelming and very exciting and a little bit sad, but mostly exciting. Mostly exciting. And if you wanna follow along with us as we go through the process of getting this house ready for sale, finding our next house, moving to our next house, seeing how Drewby handles the whole situation, you can follow us at Evan and Caitlin on Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. We also have been talking about this in a you know more long form in-depth way on our podcast, which is Evan and Caitlin Podcast on YouTube and all of the podcast apps. And we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye. Wow, we did it. <laughs> we did it. It's <laughs> time for the house tour. Don't need that anymore. Oh my God. Come on, come on. Are you ready? I thought you were gonna hit the camera. <laughs>